All right, howdy folks, and welcome back to Gridiron Live. Today I'm going to be playing Madden 98. Yes, I'm playing Madden. It's not something that I do very often, and I don't think it'll be something that I do very much in the future. But the reason that I'm playing Madden 98 is because, at least back in 98, this is when Madden was a little less offensive to the uh, football gamer. So, um, I decided that I'd go ahead and play Madden 98. Um, NCAA 98, I really enjoyed the gameplay, and um, I thought this would be Pretty similar. So we're going to be playing Bills at Redskins before the Redskins change their name to Washington Football Team, and then later on to the Washington was what are they the Commanders now? they wanted to keep like the tribal look they could have changed their name to the warriors and then just switch the helmet logo to um they used to have a helmet logo that had the spearhead on it it's a pretty cool helmet actually they could have just changed it to the warriors and still kept that sort of tribal look but they decided to do a complete overhaul and go Hello with and the commanders. To Landover, Maryland, where the Buffalo Bills prepare to take on the Washington Redskins. And of course, like other games that I've been playing lately, I am going to be playing this in Let's coach take a look mode. At the keys to victory for these two teams. Okay. So there are the keys to victory. I just love the pixelated portraits. So nostalgic. And there's such a quick and easy encapsulation of the players. Buffalo, call it in the air. So the Bills are going to call it in the air. They call tails. And it is heads. So we're going to go old school and kick it. Washington has won the toss and elects to kick. Blanton back to kick it off. All right, here comes Northern, and he gets blasted. Just to help you catch your breath. Oh yeah, and then we have John Madden jumping in every couple plays with something silly that silly that he says. I didn't know a brick wall could run that fast. So this camera angle. See, I don't think I can edit the camera angle. Sideline high, low, shoulder. Yeah, that's it. That's okay. It, it looks fine like that. Got the hail to the Redskins. Banner in the background, nice little attention to detail. Hail to the Redskins. Okay. So the year was 1997. Uh, title of the game is 1998.
So the reason why Madden was a little bit less offensive to the football gamer around this time is because the whole debacle with the NFL and 2K sports hadn't really happened yet, obviously. So Madden was, I think, still a little bit... It was still much better viewed from, from, from what I can see. And we did have a lot of games. A fair amount of games that came out this year. So obviously we have Madden 98. We have Quarterback that Club 98. From the um, I think that was on the... Nintendo GameCube. No, the Nintendo 64. Although Quarterback Club was eventually on the GameCube. Smith with the tackle. That brings up second and long on their own. And what else did we have? We had Game Day 99, of course. Sorry, 98. If we just look at the, the pro football games, we have Madden, Game Day, and Quarterback Club. Incomplete. If we look at college games, we have that makes it third and long. Game Breaker and NCAA. So that's five games right there. Five pretty solid games in the year 98. Ooh. Westbrook with a so he didn't initially catch it, but he caught it off of the deflection. Very cool. I wonder if we can see that again. Let's go instant replay. There's the ball. For 22. Hits it. You can see the ball kind of spin there. And then our receiver catches it. So there were tipped catches in this game. We're going to go... Normal, high form, play action. Oh, and we get sacked. Smith with the sack. Okay, so second and, second and seventeen. We're gonna spread it out and look for a short pass. So we'll go with quick slant. Nice catch. Also by, by Westbrook, who caught the last tipped pass. Third and eight. Coordinator called the right coverage for that play. It's fourth and eight. Definitely have to punt it here. Ooh, and the bill misses the catch, and he's down at the fifteen. That brings up first and ten from their own fifteen. 
We'll go nickel. Short gain on the play. So it's now second and nine from their own 15. Second and nine. We'll go dimes. Man, I'm a little too slow to pick these plays. All right, so we stop them short there for a gain of one yard. It's third and eight. We'll go three, four. We'll go double man. Here comes Collins. Throws it, and it is deflected. Fourth and eight, so that's a good stop. We'll go ahead and get to the punt return team. A bit of a defensive battle so far in the first quarter between the Bills and the Redskins. Here comes Mitchell, past the 50, and tackled right around midfield. That brings up first and 10 from the 50. Yard loss on the play. Not a very good run. So it's second and long on their own 49. Immediately Rogers tackled. With the tackle. At the end of the first quarter, it's the Redskins. Nothing. The Bills. Nothing. We have to get 14 yards here. And we get a false start, so that'll be a 20 yard. Third and 19. Well, I guess all we got here is just to throw a 20 yard pass. We'll see what happens. Ooh, and he heaves it deep into coverage, though. Broken up by Burris. So it's now fourth and long from the 41. They'll probably take some x rays, but I'll bet you'll be back. So this game does have injuries. Too bad they don't have the uh, the little uh, arc that comes out, like in the early early Maddens. Alexander with the tackle. Checking the frame rate. Incomplete. Seems to be seems to be fine. That brings up third and eight from their own twenty-eight. Alright. Guess the defense did something good because it's third and eight. We'll go dime. And then press. Ooh. Nice hit on the QB there. It's fourth and eight from their own twenty-eight. There's a flag on the play. Got some laundry on the field. Let's see what happens. First Flipping on the offense. Flipping. Number sixty-one. Offense. 
That penalty is declined. Now it's pretty tough to run in these. Oh my god. False start. Another false start. Number 76. Offense. Offense. I'm saying that it's tough to run the ball in, in, in this game. Four yard loss on the play. It'll be second and long on their own 25. All right, let's take a shot downfield. See what happens. Almost intercepted. It'll be third and long from their own 25. That brings up fourth and long from their yeah, I've own noticed 25. the receivers don't really like catching the ball in this game. Although it could be because he was in like double coverage. Pretty good explanation. It's getting a little cold down here in Texas. That Although cold for us is like, well, at least cold for me is anything below 70. If it's below 70, I'm going to wear a jacket no matter what. If it's, if it's like, I mean, I'll, I'll wear a jacket even when it's hot. Just because a lot of the time I don't like cold air blowing on me. Unless I have something to cover me with. The only exception to that is when it's actually hot. And you have like a fan blowing on you. Which I've done recently because my AC has gone out the past couple months. I definitely like it on the warmer side. But yeah, it's getting a little cold here in Texas. From up here, it looks like they're short. For the next couple days, I think. Not looking forward to going outside in that at all. Turner, Especially in the morning. So at least during the day, you got a little bit of sun. You got some pockets of heat you can kind of stand in if you want to get some heat. But when the sun's not out screwed wow he caught it I thought he was gonna throw it to that little uh, swing route out to the side the tackle. It's second and six at the 17. All right, they're starting to move the ball. They're just about in the red zone now. Gilbert with the tackle. That makes it third and five at the 16. At the two-minute warning. We're going to stay in the 4-3 and keep this seven-man box. Oh, here we go. Interception. With the interception. So we definitely put an end to that drive. With the tackle. 
So it'll be second and long on their own two. All right, we're going to look for a quick pass here. Second and 14 in the end zone. Throw it. Great defensive play by Burris. It's third and 14 now. Intercepted. Smith so if they get the, the ball back right around where they lost it. First and ten. At the 12. First and ten. So here the Bills are knocking again. Collins throws it to Thomas. And he's down at about the five. No huddle, I think. Here comes Collins. Heaves into the end zone. And it's deflected. It's third and three at the five. Gives it to Thomas, and Thomas gets hit at the ten. That'll force a field goal. take a look at that drive so the bills finally get into the red zone and eventually kick a field goal to be the first ones on the board Christy, so we got 38 off. seconds left let's see what we can do about this here comes Mitchell crosses the 20 at the 25 and he goes down that makes it first and ten on their own twenty-five. Little catch by Allen, only a gain of two yards. We're gonna go ahead and call a timeout here. Timeout. Offense. I'm out. We'll go for wide shotgun. Heck, let's just go Hail Mary. See how far we can throw it. Hey, that was a great And point. it's intercepted. The quarterback like a book. Probably not the smartest thing we could have done. But there it is. So it'll be first and ten from their own forty-four. <laughs> Thomas with a two yard gain on the run. So thankfully they're just gonna let the clock wind down. And there is the halftime shot. The Bill, three, the Redskin, nothing. Turnovers are playing the biggest role in this game. When you turn the ball over, it's just a free chance to score for the other team. That's what's been happening. So there's a little uh, wisdom by Madden there. So total yards. Uh, once again, in these games like NCAA, Madden, and even an NFL quarterback club, first three quarters have been pretty terrible. It's only been in the fourth quarter that my offense ever gets gets rolling. So we'll have to see how that turns out. But before we do that, we're going to. Uh, do our a little halftime show here. So Gridiron Live will be back right after these messages.
Let me guess. You crave a big, bold taste. You crave the wave. Everybody wants it. What you gonna see? Everybody wants it. Baby, don't you see? A lot of flavors. Everybody wants it. Everybody wants it. Everybody wants it. So what you gonna be? Why? Hey, Vanessa, want to see my beetle? Hey, Alex, want to see my dragon fly? Good one, Vanessa. <laughs> when you buy your kids a $1.99 hamburger Happy Meal, they can choose a cool Transformer figure or an adorable Littlest Pet Shop toy in special boxes with punch-outs or trading cards, one with each Littlest Pet Shop Transformers Happy Meal. Okay, listen to this one. Why do robots keep batteries in their wallets? Because they like to charge everything. <laughs> Boy, am I glad I got my sense of humor from you, Mom. Have you had your break today? How can I be a worthy mother when all I want is my children's cereal? Kellogg's Frosted Flakes just for kids? Brave adults say no. My wife said she'd do anything to help. I told her to get me a spoon. Now more than ever, these adults are stepping forward to admit they love that sweet, delicious crunch. My passion finally led to a marriage of convenience. He's a milkman. Come on, give in. Frosted Flakes have the taste adults have grown to love. They're great! MGM Family Entertainment presents the only all-new animated film this season. Wow! As one of the most popular films in animated history adds a new adventure. You're out of breath and the fun hasn't even started yet. All Dogs Go to Heaven 2. Rated G. Starts Friday. How do you like your minivan? Ford Windstar is an any minivan. It's the best. Well, what makes Windstar better? It's a van that thinks it's a car. It rides and handles like a car, but it holds kids and groceries like a van. Is it safe? With over 40 standard safety features, Windstar is the Fort Knox of minivans. I shopped around, and dollar for dollar, nothing else stacks up. Now get a 1000 back or low financing on Northeast Ohio's best-selling minivan. Windstar is an all-around great minivan. Winning Ohio over. The X-Files. All right, folks, and we are back. So let's go ahead and get the second half underway. Christy, back to kick it off. Here comes Harper at the 10, at the 20, and gets taken down. So it's now first and 10 at the 20. I'd really like to get a run game going. One yard loss on the play. Not a whole lot we can do about that. Let's try an HB lead. Maybe going up the middle will be a little bit easier. And he's hit immediately again. Alright, let's see if we get a little play action. Come on, come on. Complete. Whole lot of nothing. It's fourth and long on their own seventeen. <laughs> It'll be first and ten on their own forty one. So it's 3-0. Have not been able to get anything going on offense so far. But that kind of seems that that kind of seems to be my strategy. To just wait until the fourth quarter to do anything at all. Worked last time in uh, NFL quarterback club. Come on, get him! There we go. Three yard loss on the play. 
So it's now third and 10 at the 41. Boom. Mem with the sack. That brings up fourth and long on their own 34. It was fourth and 17. Thankfully, our defense is keeping us in this game. Now we just need the offense to step up and get something done. Not sure where my return man was. So it's now first and ten at the ten. Rogers with the tackle. It's second and long. Let's go four wide second. shotgun. Trainer'd better get the smelling salts out after that hit. Was that a catch? Third and five. Okay. On their own we'll go four wide again. Go shotgun. A little curl drag. We'll do that. Nice catch. Number 41 makes the catch for a gain of 14. See if we can run out of the shotgun formation. Here comes Allen. Did get a good block, but not, not, not much of a gain. From their own 30. We'll go double flag. Incomplete. That makes it third, third and, and ten. We'll go shotgun again. And we'll go. We'll go wide receiver post. And QB's throwing a lot into coverage. From their own 30. So it'll be first and 10 from the 36. Here comes the build offense. Call an audible. Here's a snap. Here comes Thomas up the middle. And about a gain of two. Thomas with a two yard run. Bills in the split back formation. Call an audible. Collins with the snap. And it gets broken up, thankfully. As he throws into what looks like quadruple coverage. We'll stay in the nickel, go man zone. Third and eight. Here comes Bills in the shotgun. Collins with the ball, running. Dodges one, throws it to Thomas. Gets a first down and a little bit more. What a dynamic play that was. Bills again. Tyndale with the run gets about three. Tyndale with a three yard run. And there's At the end, end of the third, third quarter. quarter. It's the Bills. Three. The Redskins. Nothing. So it's second and seven. We'll go three, four. 
Storm. Maybe we can get him with a little blitz here. Here comes the Bills. Collins throws it right over the middle, wide open to Reed. Reed makes the catch for a gain of eight. Bills in the same formation. Collins with the audible, and they get a false start penalty. False start. Number 72. A little bit of disarray on the Bills offense. So here come the Bills. Collins to Thomas, and he gets tackled in the backfield for a loss of four downs. Sorry, Joint four yards. Second and, long at the 48. second and 19. We'll go. We'll go dime. Collins with the ball. Throws it. Completed. Early with a nine yard gain on the pass. That makes it third and ten. We'll go nickel man zone. Third and ten. Here comes the Bills in the shotgun formation. A little bit of audibles. Here comes Collins with the ball. Throws it. And it's deflected. That brings up fourth and ten from the thirty-eight. So the Bills offense was threatening to, to keep the ball moving, but Redskins defense holds strong. That brings up first and ten on their okay, own. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna go shotgun. Curl drag. See if we can't get out of this uh, spot on the field. Deep catch by Connell. Number 41 makes the catch for a gain of 18. And another catch by Connell. So that's two catches in a row. Makes the catch for a gain of 11. Here come the skins again in the shotgun formation. QB takes the snap, throws it, almost intercepted. And complete. It's second and ten from their second own and third ten. Down. We'll go. We're gonna stay in this four wide shotgun formation, and maybe we can pick up a couple yards with the toss play. Here comes Allen. Nope. Three yard loss on the play. Redskins just it's cannot get the ball moving on the ground, so they go 33. shotgun. Curl drag seems to be working, so who gets hit as as it's thrown and it's caught by Ellard. Ellard with a thirty one yard. Incredible catch. Back. Incredible pass too. Boom. He risked his life for that one. So it's first and ten from the thirty-five. Redskins in shotgun. QB takes a snap. Drops back. Throws it deep. Incomplete. Almost caught. That brings up second and ten from the thirty-five. Redskins QB, play action. Oh, and he's sacked 12 yards. Two minute warning. Redskins have to score here. Third and long from the 47. So they go four wide. Got to heave it deep. Huge pass. Incomplete. Not at all close there. So it's fourth and long. Fourth and 22. 47. Have to go for it here. 
Let's go curl drag again. On a crucial fourth down, the Redskins line up in shotgun formation. QB takes a snap, drops back, throws it short over the middle. Not a good decision by the Redskins quarterback. I'm sure he's going to regret that one. I guess all we can do is play good defense and hope there's a little bit of time left over. Game's not over yet. So that makes it second down. It'll be second and ten from their own forty seven. Bill's offense comes out. Couple audibles. Wasting time, milking that clock. Probably gonna take it all the all the way down to the two. Tyndale tackled for one yard. That makes it third and nine. Third and nine will go. Man zone again. Bills in the shotgun formation. Probably uh, call a timeout. Should have done that before. Stop the clock at 34. By the defense. Two timeouts remaining. Go nickel. Hand zone. Comes the Bills with a split backfield. It's a pass play. Throws it. And he stopped just short. I want to call another timeout here. Timeout. Call by the defense. One Fourth and three. Are they going to go for it? They're going to punt it. Probably a smart decision. Thankfully, it falls into the end zone for a touchback. So it'll be first and ten from the twenty. We have fifteen seconds to do something. Oh, Incomplete. that would have been a great catch. That brings up second and ten from their own twenty. All right, eleven seconds left. From the Redskins throws it downfield, and it's broken up again. Five seconds. Could be the last play of the game, and it is. So three shots downfield and nothing. The Redskins, nothing. Bills end up winning a defensive battle, 3-2-0. So, a little hard to get offense going in these games. Could be a, the difficulty setting, but not sure. Let's take a look at some post-game stats. So let's look at our passing yards. We had 93 to their 69. Our rushing game was not only non-existent, it was detrimental. We lost 22 yards and they gained 24. Total offense 71 to 93. A lot of defensive battles here.
so I'm not sure how to pronounce that guy's name. Is it Ferrati? Is it Ferrati? Ferrot? We'll just call him uh, Redskins 12. QB Redskins. 8 out of 26. That's 30% 30 uh, 30 completion percentage. Passing yards 93. A lot of that was on desperation throws. Pass average 11.6. Two interceptions and sacked two times. I do like how they have the player portraits. It's such a simple thing to implement. Um, it, it can be a little time consuming gathering all the pictures and everything, but I think having player portraits in your roster UI is very, very important. Take a look at Tecmo Super Bowl. Uh, Tecmo Super Bowl had a very simple feature. It's, it had player faces. And it didn't add any sort of complexity. It just kind of gave a face to uh, the name on the screen. So I do like how they have... I, I very much do like that feature. But let's see. How do we switch? To the away team. There we go. We've got Collins, 8 out of 16, 50% of completion, 69 passing yards. Let's look at their defense. So their leader was Rogers, four tackles. And then our defensive leader was Patton, six tackles. Again, very much liking those portraits. Really do like those pictures. What's cool about them is that they're not actual pixel art. They're just photographs of those players that are like scaled down using nearest neighbor, which creates that pixelated look. It's a very, very cool effect. And it, it's, a, it's a great technique because you don't have to have an artist actually draw them. You just, you can have someone who doesn't know anything about art and they can generate these images. So pretty cool stuff. So unfortunately, our Redskins team gets destroyed essentially by the Bills. Um, Madden 98, um, I don't quite enjoy it as much as NCAA 98. That could be just because I like the college game. Um, it, they're probably running on the same engine. It looks very, very similar. So I probably just have a college bias there. Um, but again, I do like to run it in coach mode. It kind of, you know, it, it provides a different experience rather than having to worry about all the specific stick skills moves. You can just call the plays and watch your players carry them out. Uh, which is a it's a fun way to play, it really is. Uh, but that's going to do it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next one.